Hello, coaches and basketball enthusiasts. Welcome to the Coach Carvalho podcast, the podcast that explores the world of statistically based basketball strategies and bowl training methods. I am Coach Carvalho, your host, and in today's episode, I will dive deep into a crucial segment of the game. Transition defense. Transition defense isn't just a concept in basketball. It's a fundamental strategy deeply integrated into our statistical approach to defense and offense. It goes beyond simply reacting to the opponent's actions. It's a proactive approach to shaping the game's outcome in our favor. By controlling the game's tempo, restricting the opponent's point production per possession, and capitalizing on the offensive opportunities created by the defense, we increase our team's chances of success against any opponent. In our style of play, one key aspect that sets us apart is our approach to transition defense. Unlike some teams that wait for a missed shot before activating their defense, we take a more proactive stance. As soon as we lose possession, our transition defense kicks in, allowing us to swiftly act to regain control and dictate the tempo of the game. Instead of reacting passively to a turnover, we become more aggressive in our pursuit to regain possession of the ball. This proactive approach to transition defense shapes our gameplay, dictating the flow of the game and maximizing our chances of success on both ends of the court. By adopting a proactive approach to transition defense, our aim is clear, disrupt the opponent's offensive flow and balance, reduce their possession time, and limit their shot attempts per possession. This not only reduces our opponent's point production, making them vulnerable, but also allows us to quickly transition to our offense, creating more opportunities to score. Furthermore, seizing upon our defensive stops helps us build momentum in the game. A commitment to proactive transition defense has a ripple effect on our overall gameplay and team motivation. By disrupting the opposing team's rhythm and forcing turnovers, we create opportunities for fast breaks and easy baskets. This not only boosts our offensive efficiency, but also demoralizes our opponents, making it harder for them to get into a groove. When we think of strategic basketball, we consider key factors that contribute to a team's success on the court. This includes possession time, offensive and defensive efficiency, and the tactics we employ to force our opponents to play out of their comfort zone and make adjustments to their style of play during the game. Our transition defense strategy is not just a random approach, but is based on statistical analysis and specific objectives. When we employ our defensive transition, we do it with the following goals in mind. Regaining possession of the ball as soon as it is lost and maximizing defensive and offensive efficiency. When it comes to our transition defense strategy, we have a well thought out plan in place to achieve our game plan objectives efficiently. Here's a breakdown of our structured approach after a missed field goal and free throw and after a turnover one after a missed shot. Three players are designated to crash the offensive boards aggressively, aiming to secure the rebound and create scoring opportunities. Simultaneously, one player sprints back to protect the basket, ensuring that we have defensive coverage against a long pass and a quick transition by the opponent. Another player is tasked with denying the outlet pass to the opponent's main guard to disrupt their transition game and force turnovers. The objective of this tactic is to grab offensive rebounds, contain the opponent's transition transition offense, eliminate easy baskets, and defend the three-point shot. Two, our transition defense tactic following a turnover is geared to quickly regain possession of the ball and prevent the opponent from capitalizing on possession. In this situation, we assign the player closest to the ball to take immediate action and pressure the opponent with the ball, aiming to slow down ball progression and force a turnover. The rest of the team transitions into a defensive formation, focusing on protecting key areas of the court and preventing easy scoring opportunities. Typically, after a turnover, we implement a combo defense strategy with specific rules in place, keeping the ball away from the opponent's main point guard and scorer, denying uncontested three-point shot opportunities and employing traps in pick-and-roll situations to disrupt the opponent's preferred scoring opportunities. 
coaches by meticulously structuring our transition defense in response to different game situations. We aim to control the game rhythm, limit the opponent's scoring opportunities to a point where they become beatable, and ultimately secure victory on the court. Effective transition defense is a game changer. It not only helps us to control possession, but also motivates our players to work together towards the prescribed numerical goal. In summary, our aggressive approach to transition defense allows us to set the tone in the game by showing our opponents that we are relentless in our pursuit of the ball. We establish ourselves as a dominant force. This psychological advantage is as important as any physical skill or strategy. Our commitment to proactive transition defense is a key element of our stat-based defensive game plan. Employing proactive and bold tactics has set us apart from other teams and contributed significantly to our success on the basketball court. As legendary coach John Wooden once said, defense is not just a one-man job. It's a team job. Well, that wraps up today's episode. If you found today's episode insightful, please show your support by leaving your likes and comments on our podcast website. Your feedback helps us to continue bringing you valuable content and your engagement is vital in attracting on-site advertisements. Remember that you can access our podcast on various platforms, including TuneIn, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Player FM, and more. Just search for Coach Carvalho Podcast to catch up on all of our episodes. Coaches, I look forward to having you as our guest on our next episode. Remember that defense is the key to success in basketball. Until next time, keep innovating and thinking outside the box to defy the status quo. And please consider registering for our online coaching clinic. The time to compete to win is now. This is Coach Carvio signing off.